everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, and I'm really glad that you're here. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me tutorial using all natural products. As of late, we have heard more and more studies coming out about some chemicals that can be led to cancer in a variety of skincare products and beauty products um, across the US. They tested over 257 beauty products and found that a large percentage of them had what's called PFAS and it's been led to cancer. So I just wanted to see, can natural beauty products really perform as well? And I've sort of shied away from them before just because I don't really know why. So I wanted to bring you some good alternatives if you're looking for a very clean um, natural beauty product. So stick with this video to the very end because we're not only going to do this look in this tutorial, but we're going to go throughout the day and give it sort of that 10 hour wear test and see how it performs. Now I've got beauty products from Ilya, from RMS, PR Weiss. So we're going to go through the day and get this look and see how it holds up. So if you're interested in this, give it a thumbs up, stay all the way to the end so we can see how it wears and maybe some of these natural beauty products are right for you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna use is this Ilya True Skin Foundation. I have it in shade Selena, and it is it comes with aloe in it. It's a True Skin Serum Foundation, lightweight, smoothing, aloe infused, all natural. Now, I probably, Selena looks like it might be um, a little dark for me, but not too bad. We're just gonna kind of blend that in everywhere with the, uh, this is a Sigma Flak Buki brush one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that in everywhere. And like I said, I'm gonna take you guys with me throughout the day and let's just see how it wears. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested in this natural beauty and seeing how it is going to hold up. And I probably should have tried it before. And maybe through this video, I will learn myself that it natural beauty does have some very good products. Let's get rid of the foundation on my lip because that always looks crazy when there is no lip because you've covered it with foundation. All right, it is definitely a lightweight foundation, so you can kind of see. Yeah, it's definitely thin. Let's see if it is buildable. Oh, shake before you use. Well, how about we shake after we use? Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it looks, it's buildable. And you will see in an upcoming uh, video that thicker, more full coverage foundation is on its way out for fall trends. And a more natural, lightweight, somewhat seeing of your own skin shining through is more on trend. So that's gonna be a little difficult for me because I like a thicker, full coverage foundation, but I am going to learn to love it. So well, that does cover nice, I think. Wow, yeah, okay. All right, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. Let's see how it wears. I do really like that color, even though it was probably a little bit warm for me. One thing I'm curious to see is if it oxidizes. You know how when you get a good foundation, it can tend to oxidize um, relatively quickly and that's when you start to get that orangey look to it. So we'll see how this goes uh, as I finish the application and throughout the day. It's definitely thin. And again, I'm just not used to a thinner foundation, but. I think it covers nicely. Yeah, okay, all right. Drop the brush. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, good day. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is this RMS Beauty, and this is a Uncover Cover Up Concealer. I have it in 11.5. Just gonna take a little bit on the concealer brush, and I really just wanna get kind of underneath any of those purpley areas and see how it covers. Let's just get in it. Let's just do it the way I would normally do it. That would be with my fingers. Oh, we'll see if it settles into fine lines and wrinkles. That is always a true test for me. Now, RMS Beauty, I've used some of their lip products before and I've liked them. They're usually pretty colorful, good color payout, longer lasting, and moisturizing has been my experience. So we'll see how they do with the concealer. So we'll just put that all over the eyelids just because we're gonna go more of a natural look today. So new concealer technique is really just to cover up those perp that purple area right inside your, um, for me it's in my tear duct area. For you it might be different, but I get a little bit purpley right there. And especially the more I use 
Revitalash or Latisse or any of those eyelash serums, I definitely get a little bit more purpley underneath my eyes. I don't know if you guys do, but I do find that I try to scale that serum back to once or twice a week once I have the desired length of lashes because I do think it turns my eyes a little bit purpley underneath. So I think that's a nice cover up. So next, let's go and do a little bit of bronze. So the next thing I'm gonna use is this RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder. This is really beautiful and pretty. So we're just gonna add a little bit in there and give my skin a little bit of a, oh, oh, okay. Well, that is a very good color payoff. <laughs> And we will be here blending for the next hour. Wow, that is a that is a bronzing cream. Clearly, I got too dark. What color did I get? It is part of their overall. We're just gonna keep blending because this is gonna take a minute to blend this out. This is their Eternal Sunset Collection, and clearly, it is very dark. On top of this uh, Ilya Selena foundation, but that's okay. You know what? We're gonna go with it, because that's the way beauty tutorials go. And who knows, it may look really good when we're all done. Uh, oh, this is why you should try products before you put them on camera. No, you guys should really get to see what happens here behind behind these beauty uh, tutorials. Actually, I kinda, I do like it. It's more of a, it's less of a bronze, and it's more, um, it's more of a brownie reddish color, I have to say. I don't, it's not quite as bronzy golden as I would have liked, but it's probably gonna work, actually. It might just look, I may have contoured without trying to contour today. All right, so there we go. We're gonna see again how that kind of wears throughout the day. So far, I don't see that the foundation has settled into uh, fine lines. It is not really oxidized. All right, so next we are going to use, we're just gonna stick with RMS Beauty and we're gonna stick with this uh, Eternal Sunset collection and see what this blush looks like. But this time we're gonna try it on our fingers before we go to, oh yeah, ooh, that's really pretty. And this is called Lip to Cheek, which you know me, I do like a product that does a dual purpose. So let's see. Yeah, that's really a nice, pretty, natural kind of look. Okay, I love that color. Now it says it goes to lip to cheek, so let's just try that out and see what that looks like on the lips. I usually do my lips last. Why? I don't know. We'll go with Pure, which I have loved this uh, brand, and I've really liked their eyebrow pencils. And the reason I like their eyebrow pencils is because it has a nice sharp little tip to it. So I do feel like I can really get in there. I can create extra hair if I want. So I just like to go in and just kind of make the little lines. And there's a gray one there. So we're gonna probably do what we shouldn't do and that's or pull that out because why have it when it looks at me every day and just says, hey, I'm this huge big gray hair in the middle of your forehead. So we're gonna take that out. Just creating a nice brow that looks a little bit thicker than it really is, but that's what it's all about. Just because it's natural makeup doesn't mean we have to go with our natural brows. Remember, brows are meant to be sisters and not twins. And I think they look pretty related today. All right, next thing is we're gonna just do our eyelash curler. Really helpful. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. Also, if you struggle with this, blast it real quick with your blow dryer just to get it warmer, like just as a warm curling iron curls your hair. But careful, because these can get hot super fast. So I typically don't do that. I find that my lashes stay curled all day. But if you find that yours are a little more difficult to curl, definitely blast that with a blow dryer real quick. We're gonna go in with another Ilya product. This is their eyeliner, and I have it in black. And it is a nice felt pen. You can see, works pretty good. So we're just gonna go right on our lash line. I like to just hold my eye a little bit taut. I'm not a big winged liner person, but I do like to just go right along my lashes. So we'll just do that on both eyes. It's creamy, you guys. It's, um, we'll see how long it wears. It's creamy, it's easy to use, glides effortlessly and blends out easily before setting. I just wanna blend it a little bit to give it a nice soft look. And then what I wanna do after that is I'm gonna go back to this very, um, very pigmented bronzer. 
from RMS and I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit. Now I like to use the eyebrow or the, the eyeshadow a little bit higher than my crease so that I can minimize the, the amount of space between my eyebrow and my eyelashes. So I take it a little bit higher than my, my crease so that I can minimize that. And then I'll highlight just a little bit above that, above my shadow and just below my eyebrow. So just sort of a nice natural look today with this natural product. All right, so next we're gonna go in with some mascara. It's organic, it's nourishing, and it is long wearing, and it's also lengthening. Um, again, it's natural, so I'm really excited to see how this works. I don't know if I can say I'm getting length. And then I decided to go back in with a little bit more of that concealer and cover up with a blended beauty brush because that bronzer was so intense. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. And you probably, this concealer by RMS is real, it's a thicker concealer, but doesn't go on thick, but it's very good coverage. You could, if you don't have a lot of flaws in your skin, you could just use this as a foundation instead of going with the foundation if you wanted. The last thing I wanna do is just go back in with that blush lip by RMS Beauty and just do a little bit of um, eyelash, excuse me, eyelid color just to kind of warm that up a little bit and this is chick cheek chick it's for the chick it is chick <laughs> i need a bloopers reel uh it is cheek and lip so i am going to just re-intensify the cheeks a little bit with it like i said let's go out let's start the day let's test this and see uh what kind of wear we get and uh we've got a natural look with natural products and we'll check in throughout the day all right, you guys, so, so far, this has been on for about four hours, and let me not lie, I have not gone to the gym, but I did go to the grocery store and ran a couple errands and have been out in the heat. It's uh, 85 here today, so pretty good. I have to say it's, um, get you a good close-up. I think I'm, I need to get better in the sun for this the last shot of the day, but overall, I'd say it's holding up really, really well. I'm super, super impressed, so... We will see how it holds up for the next six hours or so. Hi you guys, so here we are for the 10 hour check-in. It's about eight o'clock here in the evening. It's been a really long day and I think the makeup has held up, you know, fairly well, all things considering. I do think that the foundation held up nicely. I would set it with a setting powder, powder next time and I'll definitely wear it again. It had a tacky feeling throughout the day and I'm not sure what that's about. I've read some reviews and it seemed like that is a common theme with this foundation. Again, it wears really well. It just has that, you know, throughout the day, I just felt like I had to kind of keep getting my hair unstuck from it. So a little annoying, not a deal breaker for me. The eyeliner, I think it did, once it set as it said, it, I think it stayed in place pretty well. I'm not that impressed with that mascara and quite frankly that was one of the most expensive products that I tested today. Uh, in terms of the RMS lip and cheek color, I think it stayed on pretty well on the cheeks. Moisturized as they as the day went on, but I definitely lost the color, but I didn't expect it to stay. So all in all, I would give all of these products except the mascara a thumbs up. And while we're talking about thumbs up, if you'd like to give this video one, that would be fantastic. And if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps the YouTube algorithms put this type of video in front of other people that are looking for very similar content. So we'd appreciate the help. Thanks so much. I hope this was helpful to you. I think clean beauty is the way to go if you can find products that will, you know, stand the test of time and the hours that you're looking for. And so far today, I've been pretty impressed. I hope you are too. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.